This short lesson will demonstrate how to create icons for reports or parametrics or advanced selections. Before I begin, it is important to mention that if you are building a toolbar for everyone in the office, all the stations will have to have access to the same path to the picture used in the icon and also the report or parametric or advanced selection to be used. This is because the path used for these items is absolute and not relative. Due to this absolute path, I've created an icon folder in my SDS2 toolbar data directory containing the picture that I want to use for the icon in the folder. This way, when anyone uses the toolbar on the network, they will have access to the icon's picture. I will also use only the reports or parametrics or advanced selections that are in the SDS2 data directory. The main point is that everyone has access to these items and the exact same path is being used. You must also be using and running version 7, 241, and above to create and use these custom button icons. From the Options drop down menu, select Toolbar Configuration. From the Command Group drop down list, select Miscellaneous. Drag the custom button to the desired location. I will be using the Floating Tools box. When you release the mouse button, the Custom Button dialog box will appear. Browse for the report, parametric, or advanced selection you want to use. Again, if others are using this toolbar, you will have to select information accessible to everyone with the same path name. I'm going to select from the Reports common folder, the Report 7-2 Member Quick Review by Selection Report. For the tool tip or hover text, I will type in Quick Review. Then browse my toolbar's icon folder containing the picture that I want to use. You can use a GIF, JPEG, or PNG file, PNG being the most compressed format. I will leave the icon size at 32 by 32. Finish by hitting the OK to close the dialog, and then OK to close the configuration screen, and then save the configuration as Video Test. When I select some of the members, and then the icon, the report will be run. Be sure to set the new toolbar you created as the default in User Options, Configuration Files, so the next time you open the module, the new toolbar will be used. That is required only if you rename the toolbar. To clarify what I was mentioning in the beginning of this video, when I open the toolbar we created in WordPad, we can see the path for the icon and the report. If another user using this toolbar does not have the exact same path, the toolbar will open without the icon picture. And if the report location is not the exact same path, when you select the icon, you will get an error. Finally, there is no edit in SDS2 for the command button. If you need to edit the path, you can edit the file in WordPad, but I do suggest creating a copy and turning off the word wrap. This will conclude the icon video.